When I was about 16 years old, I was hanging out one day in Berkeley after school. I left the house of my girlfriend at the time, and I hopped into my rugged but classy 1989 black Mercedes Benz. I had no radio, so I threw the one side of my headphones that worked in, and I started the engine. Several hundred feet down the road is Cedar Rose Park, and on this day, there was a gathering of all types of things. Acrobatic dogs, there was tents set up, plenty of people, and a taco truck. While driving by all of this, I would have to be a member of the Queen's Guard to not look. I looked, and by the time my attention was drawn back to the road in front of me, a man on a bike had ridden into my way. I ran him over, and his bike was crushed underneath my car, and his body landed on the hood. Upon impact, I slammed on my brakes, which ended up launching him off the hood of the car and onto the hard concrete. In a flash of time, I was helping him up and shooing off the circle of onlookers that had formed. He walked fine and asked me if we could leave before the police came. This surprised me, but I was okay with it. We didn't escape in time, so to speak, as the onlookers had promptly called the police when they saw the accident. The police asked a few questions, hung out for a minute, and left. And then Marcio, the man I ran over, was able to use his fluent Spanish speaking to persuade the food truck workers to give us both free burritos. <coughs> He lived near me, so I gave him a ride home, and I went inside his house and met his mother. It was evident they were poor, but they still offered me various things. I speculated the reason Marcio didn't want to deal with the police was because him and his mother didn't have proper documentation, or maybe weren't citizens. His bike was his way of getting to and from work, and I had crushed it. The police said I wasn't at fault. Bicyclists are supposed to walk their bikes across the street. Although that was the case, I did what I could, and I got together $200 to help him out. In hindsight, it was the most expensive burrito I ever got. But I really do know that I did the right thing. Signing off, this is Andrew Lamont for KSMC.